Sugar flour. What in the world? Wait, where's all your measuring cups? Ooh, I forgot the eggs. Did you uh, look up how to make a good video for how to uh, keep the, your audience interested? I hope you guys are interested. Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we are going to do a baking video. Here's my mom, say hi. We're going to be accompanied by Joanna Gaines and in her second volume edition cooking book we're going to be making very own silo cookies. So we have everything out in front of us and we're just going to get right to it. We're on a bit of a time crunch here so yeah, let's just go. Go, go, go. As no. Then you can mm -mm. say you edit. No. Because okay. I'm vlogging that we're going okay. to Tokyo so Central Okay, so we too. preheat the oven at 350. With the baking sheets lined with parchment paper. <laughs> Alright, so first we have butter at room temperature. We let it sit for a couple hours. And then we hit the brown sugar. We're almost out on this one, so we hit the new one. One cup packed. Packed brown sugar. <laughs> Three-fourths cup of granulated sugar at medium speed until light and fluffy. In our handy-dandy mixer. While that's doing its thing, we're gonna mix flour, salt, and baking soda. Two cups all-purpose flour. It's about a cup. Put in all the flour? Yes. Flour, and then we're gonna do baking soda and salt. One teaspoon baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. Okay, whisk together. We'll just get a fork. Fork and just mix it up. Okay. Okay, great, yeah. greatly mixed. And now we're going to add it into the mixture right here. Uh, butter sugar. Butter sugar right here. <laughs> Gradually, slowly add the flour mixture to the, to the mixer. That's good for now. And we're gonna mix it a little. Reduce the speed to low, add the oats, chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, and walnuts beat until incorporated. So we're not a huge walnut family. So we're not gonna include walnuts, but we're gonna add the chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, and oats. It says rolled Mo oats, and we're putting oatmeal. So, not sure of the difference. We're gonna just Hopefully it's improvise. Okay. Yeah. okay. One and a half cups of each. That's a lot. Did we do the eggs? When did we do the eggs? <gasps> oh my goodness! The eggs and vanilla! We're supposed yeah. to do that before we put in the. <laughs> my god! That was you! You were doing number two! I was not! Yes, you were. I was doing what you were telling me to do. No! Okay, we're putting it in. Okay, the Gee. vanilla. Two teaspoons. At least it's going in. Oh, looks good. Light and fluffy. Oats. One and a half cups of rolled oats. One and a half. All right, peanut butter chips. One and a half. That's like almost the whole bag. Then one and a half. Oh. Chocolate chips. Alright, here we go. This looks good. Sure. So now, now we're going to put them onto baking sheets. After we do that, we have to let them refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. Side by side, right? Side by side. So it says to put them side by side now, and then we're gonna refrigerate them. And then after they're refrigerated, then we take them out and then spread them apart. Whoa! I hope you guys are all enjoying this process because I know I am. Are you? Yeah! 
<laughs> you guys should comment all down below what you guys have been baking in your quarantine time. This is what we're doing, and it's a lot of fun. And recipes too, if you'd like to share. True. I'm excited and a little nervous to see how they're gonna come out. Now we're gonna put these in the refrigerator for about a half an hour. Oh. <laughs> Not this one, but one where we have a little bit more space. Up on top. So there's that one batch. There's the other batch. All right, so while we let that sit for half an hour, we're actually gonna go to the store right now, right? We're gonna go to the store. We're just gonna go grocery shopping real quick. And then we're gonna come back and bake those cookies. Made it to Tokyo Central. We're just gonna go in and get the stuff and then come back. I'm not gonna bring the camera in because I don't really feel too comfortable about it yet, but here we have our masks. We're being socially responsible and we're ready. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye. All right, it's been like an hour and a half. I finally got all the stuff from Tokyo Ooh. Central. That was fun. It was a crazy town in there. Um, but now we're gonna go home and finish our cookies. Yay, can't wait. <laughs> all right, so we're back from the store and we're ready to finish these cookies. So. We just took them out of the fridge and we're supposed to face them out three inches, three apart. inches from, apart from each other. This is the original side. Now we're spacing them out like this. I feel like this is pretty crucial because I think they're going to flatten out a bit, but then also fluff up. This is what we Spread want out. them to look like. Oh. This is our goal. So hopefully it turns out that way. Oh, Say hi to my dad. Hi. <laughs> and Chewie. Hi Chewie. There, here they go into the oven. Hope for the best. For about 13 to 15 minutes, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, 13 to 15 minutes, and we'll be back with delicious silo cookies. So, as we wait, yeah, I just hope you guys are enjoying the content of this channel. Um, there's only really so much we can do in quarantine time, but you know, making the most of it. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself, making the best of your time at home, yes. indoors. Comment down below what you guys are doing to fill your time during this stay-at-home quarantine. Yes, we can all help each other. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we're gonna try them now. They look pretty good. This is flattened out a little bit, actually, but these ones look good. Oh my. Very good. Delicious. Texture, flavor. Crunchy at the bottom, yet chewy. Can you taste the chocolate chips and mm -hmm. the peanut butter at the same time? It's a really good mix. I would like to try. Oh, good balance. Good job. Texture, amazing. Cookies. So good. They're amazing! Little bit of chocolate, little bit of peanut butter, best of both worlds. Yum. Chewy, out of 10. crispy. <gasps> ten awesome, out of ten. Joanna. Yeah, so this is from Magnolia Table, Joanna's second volume book. I'm gonna link it down in the description below so you guys can go and buy it for yourself and try out all these recipes. I'm still chewing. We just chose not to put the um, walnuts in. That's the only thing. We'll probably do a lot more recipes out of this book because it's a lot of fun. We also have volume one, so that'll be some other things that we can do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next week. See ya!